are we live guys i'm so sorry that is so frustrating on this monday morning i hope that you can see me um i don't know what happened but it just all went blank and it was showing live but no picture so if you guys could see me and hear me i apologize but i am back this is my segment for craft around the clock and i did not get to put my description in this time since i was in a hurry but i will pop it in there afterwards hello christy thank you for coming back i don't know what happened were you able to see and hear me during that mess because it on my end it was just blank i saw the little live button but blank so i am going to hurry and try to get catch up my time here but i'm gonna need your help so if you guys will get this back out there because obviously people have left and moved on hello tana good morning how are you guys I'm glad y'all came back a few of you let's get more that was crazy and it's so frustrating hi Shelly hi Tracy not sure what happened I apologize that's so frustrating it was broken up yeah I don't know what happened I just decided to start over since I couldn't see a thing I didn't know what was going on but I'm so happy to be here it was frozen okay okay well I'm glad I started over I just couldn't decide what the right thing to do was that was never had it happen and you know it's kind of just part of it yeah you guys and i know you guys are the most patient sweet people on the planet so thank you for coming back and thank you hi tony thank you for getting me out there again hi andrea please um no pressure to sprinkle but if you do let me know sometimes facebook doesn't always show us i don't think so i it was crazy debbie so um i appreciate you guys letting me know so i can thank you personally it means a lot to me and I know that for whatever reasons, we can't always do it. So when you are able to, I appreciate it. Y'all, I'm just going to put some of my chalk paint into this little cup with just a tiny bit of water. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, Mary. Thank you guys for coming. Um, and I'm adding just a little bit of water because this creamy chalk paint I use, it is a little thicker. I guess all chalk paint is a little thicker, but I did want to thin it just a little bit. Oh, Omi, I'm glad you're here live. Hi, Janine. Hi. Yes, I'm so, thank you, Marlene. How are you? I miss you. I'm glad you guys are back. Thank you so much for coming back because that's crazy when that happens and we just don't have any control. You know, people move on and we feel bad, but we can't, just can't do anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is Transformation Week with Craft Around the Clock. I'm real excited about it. And I wanted to use something I had. I didn't want to go buy anything. So I have these trays that I keep needing to use and never use. So they're really pretty. They're just from the Dollar Tree, so they're not fancy. You can definitely pick these up at a craft store, or not craft store, but a um, antique store or, you know, garage sale. And I really prefer using those. But those are packed in my garage, so wasn't going to mess with trying to... Oh, Shelly, I wasn't going to mess with trying to go dig them out. So I'm using the ones from the dollar store because I have several of these I need to use. This is just my chalk paint I'm mixing with just a little bit of water. I have already put a sealer. I use the multi-purpose sealer, and that will help this chalk paint to stick to my, uh, to my tray. And I am just going to get a couple of coats on here um, and get a pretty base coat of this chalk paint i love this color it's called lace and i know you guys most of you guys i think use uh waverly totally fine use whatever chalk paint you like and have good results with and uh, whatever color you prefer i want something today it's kind of funny because i'm real a colorful person i love colors but today i'm going soft and sweet i'm going to use a hymnal page and so I really want to keep with this kind of neutral um, kind of sweet look hi Carol thank you Mary for sprinkling you're amazing hi Diana oh Dana I'm glad thank you for coming back guys uh, hi Elizabeth hi Colleen thank you for sprinkling I appreciate you so much hello Marty yes guys some of you guys were with me Friday night we had so much fun I had fun doing the Cardinal and so thank you for coming today. This is totally different, not a Christmas in July project. Um, you know, this will be a great week for crafting on the or craft around the clock. You can get inspired by so many different people because it is transformation week. 
So we all have those things that um, we don't know what to do with. You're going to get lots of ideas this week. Or maybe you have things sitting around you mean to, to do something with and you just don't quite know what. This week will be really good for all of that. And if you like to pick things up at antique stores or garage sales, it will be a great week for that. So to get in the Craft Around the Clock group is, you know, you've got to be in there to see all of the people. And it's pretty much 24-7. Anytime you go in there, there'll be something going on either live or lots of replays. So that is my, that is my Craft Around the Clock plug. You guys need to be in that group. Welcome to any newbies. Thank you, Shelly Ann, for sprinkling. And Marty, I appreciate you guys. Hi, Nancy. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. First time watching. Carol, glad you're here. I am in South Fort Worth. You guys tell me where you are, especially the newbies. Most of you guys I can I can remember. Like Marty, I love hearing that she's from the Adirondacks. Such a beautiful part of the world and uh, the part of Texas I'm in is not, you know, anything special. There are parts of Texas that are beautiful, lots of trees and flowers and things, but I'm more in the suburbs and, you know. So I love seeing where you guys are from, though. Thank you, guys. Minnesota. What's the temperature? Omi, I use the Deco Art multi-purpose sealer and that's a really good one to put down before you paint on anything but I definitely use it on wood and I'm trying it on metal I think I've used it once on metal and I don't really remember how it did but this should help everything this should help my paint to stick better and not chip off and things like that it is just really good for helping the acrylic paint to stick and have something to stick to on slick surfaces and then it will seal your wood so that the paint doesn't just soak into the wood. It really works fantastic on wood. I love using it um, for my wood. I did the Cardinal Lazy Susan the other day and just helped that paint go on so much better. Kansas, can y'all see okay? Illinois 70, that is gorgeous, Christy. Are you gonna be outside in your garden? working you I don't know you need to probably take it a little easy though with your eye y'all we have so many uh, prayer needs I have a, a sweet friend Cynthia who her husband definitely needs prayer needs has prayer needs right this second actually very very urgent and I know more of you do that are watching you're welcome to put them in the description when I get off of my lives I do take them all and write them down um, and pray over them and I, I just think that's so important as a part of what I do so never hesitate to put them a lot of times I'm trying to focus on the positive and I'll ask you guys you know tell me something good and I want to hear that too uh, but I'm heavy-hearted this morning for a lot of our friends I know uh, COVID's going around again and different things and so anyway if you're a person of prayer you can read through these comments as well and pray with me and we appreciate that so I'm just kind of doing the best I can with the time I have here. Normally, you know, you put a coat, let it dry, put a coat, let it dry. I'm trying to get on a pretty good thick coat and I am going to use my heat gun and give it a little dry real quick and I'll try to look at your comments while I'm doing so. I don't want to, I don't want to get this too hot or the paint will bubble. So I'm holding it kind of high. I know, Judy, we, the whole world needs it, doesn't it? Aw, thanks, Judy, for saying that to Teresa. Second time watching. Oh, you're in Florida. Oh, wow, you've been all over Wyoming. 13 to 29. Oh, that's great, Marcia. So are you by a beach? Do you get to go to the beach? That is my dream. Oh, Christy, that's awesome. Christy is painting a beautiful shutter. You guys, you know, when you paint something or create something, especially if it's something that I showed you, you got to send it to me. I love seeing what you guys create. Or you can go to my free group, uh, Art and Craft Showcase, and post your pictures there. I love seeing what you're doing. Oh, good. I'm glad. 
Wind to Dallas in September. What you coming for? Is there something going on in September? Okay, so I think that's dry. But I am going to give it another coat. I'm trying not to uh, unplug myself. You're in Pensacola. That's awesome. I know Hillary, right? Hillary, remind me where you are. I think I used to know, but I, I can't call it because 111, that's really bad so I use the deco art chalk paint and so it is made for furniture painters really um, but it gives great coverage and that's why I really like it and so that's why I'm just adding a little water to mine because I'm down at the end of the I'm down at the end of the jar and it does get a little thicker just because you know we leave our lids off a little more than we should and things Washington it's that hot hi April glad you're here I can't believe it's that hot in Washington it's only going to be 103 here in Texas. Wow. Oh, Rula, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Don't worry ever. No apologies, guys, when you come in late. Just you come in anytime you get a chance. And, you know, I think we all understand the benefits of art and crafts and our community that we have. So you come and go as you need to. I think it's fantastic. And, and if I still worked in an office full time, I would be popping in all the time and just because it gives you just a little relief from the day, you know, from the stress of the day, whether it's work, health, whatever. Popping in on these lives just make it great. Uh, I actually um, have ordered this on Amazon and Michaels. I, I do have, if anybody wants, I've got a 20% off coupon code I can give y'all for Deco Art Paint, like off their website. I am an affiliate, so you can use that for the 20% off anything Deco Art on their website. But, um, you know, you can also just go to Michael's Hobby Lobby and look for it there if you want. Hi, Michelle. Uh, you know, so I don't, I don't do it to get any kind of kickback, so it doesn't matter to me where you buy it. I, I just recommend it because I love it. So, um, so anyway, just wherever you can find it and get a good deal. I love catching the Michael sale because they can put it for like, it's, it's about a dollar, a dollar a bottle. And, um, and you can really stock up when it's cheap like that. First time, oh Beverly, welcome. I'm glad you're here. On the, okay, you're like on the west side of the state. Left my home. Oh, really? Ooh, I don't blame you, Diana. That's so awesome that you could do that. I would want to do the same thing, especially when you have, do you have grandkids? Then you just really hate to be far away, right? Let me know, cause yeah, I would, I would want to do. Of course, the, my kids might be like, uh, please don't follow us. <laughs> but I would so want to to help out with the kids and, you know. When they're in the throes of working full time, they usually need help with the kids, right? I would have loved that. I, I really never lived close to my mom when my kids were little. A little bit, a little bit we did, but for the most part, we didn't. You're in Shreveport, Michelle. What's your temperature today? So I'm getting really pretty coverage with this. Yes, Shelly. Oh, that's so great. So it's a it's a double win. You're close to a beach and your grandkids. Do we have any like recent grandkids born? Nebraska. Oh, that's good. Hi, Anna. How are ya? Uh, okay, so I think I've got a pretty good coverage. I really can't take just all the time in the world. 88, it's supposed to be 98. Okay, 98, anything under 100, I can handle. It really doesn't feel too horrible to me if it's under 100. 18 months to 25, to 25 years old? Wow. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Sherry Meeks. Right. You said, welcome, Beverly. So I might have missed saying hi to Beverly. Oh, uh, an, an affiliate is where, like, what I did, I use DecoArt almost exclusively. I'll buy anything and try it, but DecoArt paint is just my favorite. So I literally wrote them and said, do you have an affiliate program? And if so, I need to be on it because it's all I use. So um, they, had, they had actually done an article about me a long time ago and talked about the Alzheimer's event that I do. So I kind of had a, a little contact with somebody. And anyway, I um, just love the paint. And so, yes, I became an affiliate, which just means that if I give my code and you use my code to purchase it, then I get like a small percentage of the sale. It doesn't raise it for any of you. And that's what it just means when any of us, any of your creators you're, are given codes to you guys to use. It just means that we get credit and the companies will usually either send us product or give us a little kickback of some kind. So I'm just taking a hymnal page. I have several hymnals and um, that's a, a good thing I can do to give away to people. I'm just so bad at, at actually mailing my happy mail. I have, you know, a, a long to-do list here. and listen putting um hillary i'll have to get it for you because i don't have it off the top of my head i um i'll post it after this though i'll post it this is not like a uh, rice paper or a napkin where you can take your water brush but it still does the same so i just took a brush of wet water and now when i tear this it will kind of come into a, a nice little tear and I'm just going to go slow because if you go too fast, it will rip and not look good. So I'm just kind of going slow across the top of this page because I do want an uneven, I don't want a straight line. And so just getting my brush wet. Oh yeah, no problem. That is, yeah, they want you to have a certain amount of followers. They'll ask you for all of your social media pages. They will go look at some of your videos to be sure that you're, you know, really using their product and I didn't have to worry about it because they can go back as far as they want to and hear me talking about deco art uh, honestly I feel like I should be an employee by now because I have talked about it so much my anybody that's in my group knows again it doesn't matter to me what anybody else uses you know y'all can use anything but it's just what I get the best results for, from and love and I love their colors and coverage and so that's all. I never even I never even think to give out my my uh, affiliate link. Unfortunately. Okay, y'all still here? Thank you, Edith. I appreciate it. Oh, Regina, thank you for the stars. Now I do want the the little at the bottom. It tells you a little bit about the the music. I want that on mine. You don't have to. You can you know take your and just have the actual music part but i do want to leave that here i already made um one kind of as a test or started one just to be sure this would work and look good and everything and this one or one of them i will give to my church and we'll put it up there and so i thought that i would just leave the the whole page and think that'll look good this one is called blessed redeemer do you guys remember oh my gosh y'all if you grew up in church singing hymns tell me your favorite I, it as well is mine although it's it like makes me sad when i sing it because it reminds me of my mama but um i can remember her singing it in church and a tear just rolling down her face when i was young and um so it's always been my favorite hymn and of course when she passed we had that we we sang it and yeah so it's very special to me um and i bet if you grew up in church you have one that kind of is special to you hi lisa hi gloria oh i'm sorry you don't feel good oh no so many are sick and oh i do too beverly there's so much we can do with them Thank you, Regina. I hope you're having a good day too. Hi, Kathy. I hope I've said hi to most everybody. Hi, Donnie. I will go back though because I really like to say hi to you guys and see who was here. Um, hey, Jeanette, your grandfather sang this hymn. So was he, um, 
Be Not Afraid, April. Y'all tell me your other favorites. Friend, yes, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Have Thine Own Way, yes. Oh my gosh, all of those. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get this down. So you want your paint to be totally dry. And of course, I would probably make sure I had a little better coverage if I was doing this not in a timed event. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. Um, boy, I really want a soft brush, but all my soft brushes are pretty new. This one actually, yeah, it's still too new. <sighs> I like using a soft brush to get my, you can use a sponge or a brush, but I'm just going to use a brush and get my Mod Podge down here on the, on the tray. Old Rugged Cross, Amazing Grace, Just As I Am. Oh yes, Just As I Am was a big one. Remember they, you know, they would have the invitation, they call it, and people go down and, um, and that was one they played a lot for that. Doesn't that bring back good, I hope, I hope that it brings back good memories for you guys. Um, of those sweet simpler times going to church and maybe maybe you went to your grandma's church or something and okay look how good that fits in here so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and hopefully it is pretty even kind of press out some of the little bubbles and lines and get it kind of going here and then I will put Mod Podge on the top this is this is actually I have some hymnals here to use for crafts and this just came right out of the book and I actually um, am going to I'm gonna paint on this like I'm gonna paint a design on my hymnal book but this just came right out of it I am happy to share uh, pages with y'all but I hate to even promise because I am behind on my happy meal so Oh, I'll fly away. But if you want a page, you're going to need to email me or uh, send me a direct message. Don't just put it in the comments because I, I may not see it and that kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to try to get most down and then just go over it with Here I am, Lord, yes. Hi, Debbie, how are you? Are you on vacation still or are you back home? I know y'all took a little trip. Are you back home now? I hope you guys are getting a good summer vacation. We need to get away, don't we? It sure helps uh, clear the mind and just get a different perspective. I love going and being in nature anywhere, wherever. Um, beach is great mountains are great my family always prefers mountains so I hope y'all are seeing this okay and I bet I forgot to flip my camera old rugged cross Laura just um, click on my business page and it'll say send me a mes message there'll be an option a button to send me a message okay got that down and got it all in place so let me dry this real quick hi Darla amazing grace yeah I know you can't think of singing in church without amazing grace thank you guys for sprinkling me out I know some of y'all have seen I'm seeing the little man the little hand going out thank y'all for that yeah, Jeannie, I know that's how I am. If I get something in my head, I will sing it all day as well. You're home. Did y'all have a good time, Debbie? Standing on the promises of God, yes. See? Oh, my goodness. We need to just put on a CD or a, a Spotify list or something and listen to those today and then come back tonight going it was a great day because hearing that kind of music and feel it listen what you fill your mind with matters so honestly if you're depressed if you're having a hard time if you're frustrated if people aren't treating you well go listen to some of those hymns it speaks truth that's the important thing is it's speaking truth to us so we're enjoying the music and you're getting the truth of the word so 
He walks with me and talks with me. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Hi. Hola, Manny. How are you, my friend? I'm glad you're here, bud. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? Have you had a chance to look at your little tutorial I made you? <laughs> it's probably a, a little scattered, but I know you wouldn't care. Okay, so we're going to call that down because time goes by fast, y'all. Let's see. My time was 11.15, so I need to be done at 12. So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and move on so that you can see this kind of the whole thing of what I'm doing. Now, listen, you can use, y'all just think of all that you can do. You can put um, silk flowers. You can put, I, there's lots of options. Let me just show you some of the options I pulled. Mm, totally dazzled. Oh, my goodness, y'all. If you want bling you know you could bling this up and put some bling down here look at that that is gorgeous okay um let me let me just kind of keep looking and see what other ones i have and just the regular totally dazzled bling would be pretty but i thought these with all the pearls would be gorgeous i just cannot wait to use this i'm going to put this on a ball cap so y'all will be watching for that showing my age but love the imperials that's okay listen yes michelle it is um transformations so we're taking something like a tray that you might use to put your hors d'oeuvres on and doing something else with it so you're gonna uh, sorry that i keep hitting that you're gonna find some cool ideas this week so it will be a great week so see how you could put some bling on here for me i don't want the bling i but i just i do think it'd be gorgeous but not the look that i am going for right now so what i'm going to do is take these they're like sola flowers like little wood little flowers but um, these came from dollar tree so believe it or not if you can find them I don't see them often. I bought two when I saw them and probably should have got more, but I hate to buy too many and leave, not leave some for everybody else. But when you see things, sometimes you have to get them. Yes, that's right. Yes. Jesus is mine. Um, is that blessed assurance? Is that the one you mean? Standing on holy ground. Gosh, I'd forgotten about that, Shelly. I'm definitely going to be listening to these today. I can already feel the power of the music and of the words. Sweet hour of prayer, yes. That reminds me of my grandmother. Oh, hi, Barb. I'm glad you're here. Old gospel quartets. Aw. Yes. Oh, yes. I'll fly away. Who said that? C. Lynn, yes. Okay, so I think these little flowers will be gorgeous on here, but I'm going to I'm gonna zhuzh them up. That's what I say. I don't know. I'm going to make them a little prettier with some ribbon buff. You could use acrylic paint. You could actually, you know what would be pretty too is, well, oh yeah, this metallic paint would be real pretty. Maybe I want to use this this time. I might. I think I am going to use this. But rub and buff would also be pretty. But I like this um, metallic paint. And I just will stir it up with whatever I have around. Get it, get it stirred up well. How great thou art. Yes. Oh, gosh, y'all. Are y'all loving remembering all these songs? I feel um, holy, 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 the doxology. Yes. <gasps> do you, Tamara, what do you play? Do you play guitar or piano or what? I, I can't believe I never learned to play the piano. My mom played her entire life from a child on. Listen, this is a neat story. So she grew up, you know, in the Depression. She was born in 35. So she grew up with parents who were very uh, limited on funds, very. So her neighbor, her neighbor lady, you know, the woman, saw her as a little girl, um, sitting okay you know the the bed headboard so she was sitting at the at, on the floor and doing this on her little headboard uh, her mom's headboard to pretend she was playing the piano and that lady saw her and she said does millie play the piano and and my grandmother said no you know we don't have a piano 
And um, she said, well, I am a piano teacher and would be happy to give her lessons for free. Can you believe? So she did. So my mom got the lessons from her neighbor and has she played in her church basically all her life. I'm going to just take this paint and see if I can just pop it on these edges. And so this is this, the same look I got from my rub and buff. I just wanted to see if I would like this color better and compare. They're really, really similar. Let me look at these. Yeah, they're super similar. And I think I like the rub and buff better. So let's just go with rub and buff. Oh, that's awesome, Tamara. Yeah, super sweet of her. She she clearly knew that they could never have afforded lessons and um, and that my mom had this desire to play, which that's just from being in church and seeing people in church play. So yeah, she became a fantastic piano player. And it was the last thing that, she, you know, she could do that up until the last few months. So this is Rub and Buff. This is antique gold. So I don't know what colors you guys may have used, but I will usually take like a something and put a little bit out and then just um, dip my finger in it. And so kind of tap it off because you'll get a lot. I'm going to put some on this, this little raised edge and just kind of all around like I want the edge here. So you see the edge, the raised pieces, and then these little. So let's do this whole thing. Can you use pigment as a rub and buff? Yes, that's what I'm using. Yeah, this is rub and buff. Once it's dry, you sure can. I was going to paint on this and like paint a design on the hem and for some reason it when, when I did my practice one I was like I don't I don't want to paint on it I just want to have it just simple at least for this one I might do one later I love painting over hems and just kind of having something on it somewhere or flowers on each corner things like that and Kim I was watching yesterday's tomorrow's earlier before me and um, and she was bragging about how I can paint upside down and I'm not even painting today Isn't that funny but I do <laughs> I do I'll paint like this so that you guys can see so it is kind of weird that I can do that I don't know how how I can but I I manage okay okay so isn't that pretty can y'all see that this reminds me of the little bedroom suit that I had as a as a teenager. You know, French Provincial, do y'all remember this one that had, you know, um, the gold and the cream. I know y'all will know if you're old, if you're in my age or older. Oh, Regina. Oh. Gail, when we, yes, we gave my mom's piano to her church, to her actual Sunday school class to have there in the class. Uh, that's what she would have wanted. But um, yes, I have heard everybody say that it's like, you just have to give it away. Nobody wants it. Crazy. Oh, Hillary, we can come up with lots of ideas. Okay, so I'm kind of bunching this together, taking my rub and buff and just tapping on these little flowers um, just to get it on the edges of these flowers so can y'all see what i'm doing just tap 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 all along these edges and then you get that pretty gold and like i said this color is antique gold but you can get other colors whatever you might want and you can do this with paint so if you don't have this or maybe you want to do blue or pink or whatever then just use regular acrylic paint and do the same technique of just tapping it on and because these came from Dollar Tree I mean one dollar 25 cents for all of these little flowers you can't beat that yeah I think it's gonna make them pop Hillary hopefully let's see here yes Regina good hi Deborah how are you today this is the antique gold, right? Let me double check. Antique gold, yes, antique gold. OK. 
okay and you can do as much or as little you know that's it's all personal preference so you can technically if you don't have rub and buff take some gold paint and do the same thing with these raised edges or any color like I said you know you could do all red or all black or you know um, any color under the rainbow so oh were you oh me oh well my mom played the piano and her best friend played the organ and um, of course our church we don't have you know like an organ but we um oh hi sissa how are you um, but anyway, they had a lot of great memories doing that together. Okay, let's see. We got four done. And I'm going to just borrow a couple from these I did last night. So just more of those and then we will hot glue them on. I have found alcohol will work to get this off your fingers and um, turpentine of course will work but it is oil based and so you know it will kind of mark up your fingers pretty good when you use it. Oh that's great. I'm so glad. Okay so we're just going to take some hot glue. now. I think I would like to add a little bit of E6000 so that it's permanent, but for now I'm just going to do some hot glue and get these on here for you guys. Um, but I don't know that hot glue on metal, maybe y'all can help me. I'm not sure if that will stay permanent or if it might pop off. It probably will stay permanent actually once it dries. Growing up in there where they play, yes, yes, me too, me too. You know, it's like a formal feeling when you have that organ come in, right? It's real dramatic and um, those are great memories. I mean, I'm kind of glad that it changed because of course, you know, we just don't, you don't go around listening to organ music on the radio. So, um, you know, I'm okay that it changed, but it just kind of makes you a little sad or something when you remember, oh, that was, that was high church, right? To hear that piano and organ going and um so hi lisa it does stay hillary good okay oh barbara are you on my text alerts because i did send one out y'all let me know if you're on the text alerts did you get the text you know maybe just a cluster of three right here what do y'all think instead of having it across the top sorry guys have y'all not been able to see this or was I not holding it up? Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe just three here. Y'all y'all tell me quick. Three or all across the top. Dina, use hot glue. Okay. Three or across the top. You got it. Okay, good. Well, maybe, Barbara, let me let me help you. If, if you're on it and didn't get it, let me know. You got it. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, for three. Okay, Omi, Omi, you got it. You told me three. I, I saw it. Um, for text alerts, you just text ampers the ampersand sign Art Grace TX to the number eight one zero one zero. And if one of you wants to type that in, maybe Christy, um, the ampersand sign Art Grace TX to eight one zero one zero. And this is really it. Now you can go along and add a, a gold, you know, painted line in here. You could add some gold dots or sprinkles. You could add diamond dust. You could add anything. I will put this on a little easel um, on a little table that we have, but you could also add something to hang it in the back. Guys, you know, just an idea of how to use a dollar tray to kind of transform it and make it prettier. I do too, Lila, I do too. Guys, it, my time is up. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for those that sprinkled and um, I appreciate your support so much. I'll be back tomorrow, so watch for me and sign up for those text alerts and you'll always know when I'm gonna be live. Y'all have a beautiful day. Message me if I can help you. Bye guys.